now is 12 minutes past seven. We need to show you some pictures this morning. These are the lucky residents parts of northern Scotland treated to this spectacular sight last night. It just doesn't seem real, does it? These photographs are real, and this happened last night. The aurora borealis lit up the skies over the highlands and the islands. These were sent in, these pictures were sent in by BBC weather watchers, very lucky BBC weather watchers, who managed to capture the display before the rain arrived. And I, I think we're all sitting here rather envious, actually, because none yeah. of us, Matt hasn't seen it, you haven't seen it. Yeah, I'm wondering, Matt, maybe, we, can we stay on the images for a second? And I, I don't think, that we, maybe, Matt, if we can bring you in, and I don't know if we can bring the pictures back in, it's always worth, if you can, Matt. How is that happening? What, what's going on there that makes it look like that? Uh, it's all done by uh, charged particles being shot out by the sun. They have various eruptions in the sun. Those charged particles come to Earth. And the uh, different colours you see are just how those charged particles interact with uh, various gases in the atmosphere. The reds, uh, oxygen way up in the upper atmosphere. Uh, the greens, oxygen in the lower atmosphere. The greens are more common here. And if you see sort of bluey, purpley colours, that's uh, nitrogen. So it's all due to the, uh, the way that uh, those charged particles are interacting with those gases that are all around us in the atmosphere. A truly, truly stunning sight though. I would love to see them for myself and I'm very envious of those who saw them last night. Uh, and of absolutely. course it's only just, only just the start of the uh, season as well. You uh, tend to get quite a bit through autumn, so probably more shots like that to come. And better to, more likely to see in Scotland? Uh, the further north you are, the more likely you are to see it. But you can actually see them sometimes as far south as, say, the Midlands, East Anglia, parts of Wales too. But they need to be particularly strong when uh, that happens. We'll, of course, if I can, keep you updated when the best of those possibilities will be.